Hi there, ho there, happy day! It's Monday again. Hey everybody, it's me, it's James on Monday. It's Monday James, how's it going today? Uh, on this Monday, uh, lunchtime-ish kind of day. How's it going? How are y'all? How's everything? Uh, I don't know why I'm asking all these questions to you when I can't hear the answers, but that's fine. It's okay. Um, Alright, here's the big news for the week. Uh, it's Halloween on Thursday, and today's Monday. Hi, it's me, it's Monday James, and it's Halloween on Thursday. So, uh, let me tell you a little story about myself. Uh, I love Halloween conceptually. I like the idea of doing costumes, and that's really fun. You can go do something that you're not. Uh, I like candy. Who doesn't like candy? Um, you know, I like spooky stuff. I like horror movies. Not like a ton, but I like them to a point. You know, I, I enjoy the whole concept. And every year I say to myself, self, this is the year. We're going to like go fucking all out for Halloween. We're going to do costumes. We're going to plan ahead the whole thing. Uh, it's going to be so great. It's going to rule. And then I blink and it's October 31st at 6 p.m. And the party's at 7 and I have done nothing. This happened more times than I care to admit. My executive dysfunction is substantial in this world. But this year, this year, Kathleen Turner Overdrive has a gig on Halloween. We are playing at Blind Pig. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But uh, it caused me to realize that I do, in fact, actually have to plan ahead for these things or else nothing will happen. So uh, we started talking about it three months ago, which is super great and something that I'm never ever good at doing and I'm so happy that we did. We've got costumes lined up, we've got new songs, we've got new choreo, we're doing costume contests, it's going to be a whole thing. Now look, I know it's on 6th Street and 6th Street and Halloween sounds a little bit nightmarish. I'm right there with you. I probably wouldn't go if it wasn't my gig. I understand that completely and I hold it against nobody, but it's going to be super, super, super fun. We are really, really excited about this thing. We've been working our shit off to get this this gig ready for you. We are so excited to do this gig. So uh, if you happen to be feeling brave and you want to head downtown for Halloween, uh, KTO will be playing from 8 o'clock until 11.30 on the Blind Pig stage, uh, which we have grown to love quite a bit. It's a good stage. It's a good space. Uh, the drinks are relatively inexpensive. Uh, it should be, you know, a shit show. I mean, it's Halloween at a bar, to say nothing of Halloween at a bar on 6th Street. But it's going to be really, really, really fun. So I really hope some of you come out. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Can't wait. We've been so excited for this gig. Super, super pumped. So that's one. Uh, second thing, uh, there's an election happening. The final day to vote is next week. Uh, if you have not voted yet, you should go vote. It doesn't. Uh, it does matter who you vote for, but whoever you're thinking about voting for, you should go do it because we control so little in this world. And one thing you can do is is put your stake in for who you'd like to have making the decisions at the top of the bill. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I am going to say that historically, fascism is bad, and ethnic cleansing is bad, and concentration camps are bad, and none of those things have good results for anybody. And I would recommend that you not vote for someone who actively wants to be a fascist dictator and to have an ethnic cleansing in this country. Uh, I believe we are improved by our differences, not by our sameness. Uh, I believe we should go forward and not backward. These are my opinions. They're just my opinions. Uh, but I think that history has shown pretty effectively that fascism is bad and not a good thing to do. Ethnic cleansing is bad, not a good thing to do. We should not do those things. But regardless of what that means to you, you should vote anyway. Whatever you're going to vote for, whoever you're going to vote for, whatever is important to you, make your voice heard. There are so few chances in the world to do that, honestly. I mean, this social media you can be heard, but to be heard by people that actually have to listen to you this much. Um, that's what you should be doing. Uh, the actual election is next Tuesday. You can vote. Uh, most states you can vote before that. I voted last week. It felt great. Um, so please uh, do your part in society to be part of society because we are all here and we have to deal with each other. So let's see if we can't do that better. Okay. Uh, this week, going forward in a more specific way, today is Monday. Hi, it's me. It's James on Monday. It's Monday, James. So I will be at the Blind Pig downstairs uh, on 6th Street from 4 o'clock till 7 o'clock for the Welcome to the Working Week Residency. I'm there every Monday from 4 o'clock till 7 o'clock for the Welcome to the Working Residency. I love it. It's super fun. It's usually very low-key. Uh, I'm very happy to be doing it. Uh, I'm coming up on a year of doing it, and I couldn't be more excited about it. Uh, it's a great time. Ernie's bartending. It's going to be really fun. Come on down. Have a good time for that. Wednesday night, I will be playing at the Four Seasons again, because why not? 
Uh, that's a cool little bar, uh, not that little, uh, it's a cool hotel bar at the Four Seasons in Austin. Uh, they seem to let me last time. I'm gonna do it again this time. Uh, that's Wednesday night, seven till 10. Thursday's Halloween, as I said. Kathleen Turner Overdrive at the Blind Pig, throwing the F down, causing trouble. Come check it out, eight o'clock till 11.30. It's gonna be really, really, really fun. Um, it will be a mess, I'm sure, but also you might win a stupid prize if you have a great costume. So please come on down, check that out. Friday, where the hell am I on Friday? I can't remember what I'm doing Friday. I know I'm playing Friday, hang on. I'm unprepared. Friday, I am up at Adele's in Marble Falls. Never been there before. Uh, looking forward to it. Marble Falls, super cute little town. Driven through a couple times. Looking forward to playing Adele's. Saturday, uh, I have a private gig in the afternoon with Justin from KTO. And then KTO at large will be at Willie's Joint in Buda. Uh, first time there. Looking forward to that. Should be a lot of fun. I believe it's their costume contest night. So you can, you can try and uh, uh, double up your costume contest winnings by coming Thursday to the Blind Pig and then Saturday to Willie's Joint. Uh, I don't know if KTO will be doing costumes for Willie's. Uh, we haven't gotten that far yet. It may just be the same ones as the Halloween. We may do something else. I don't really know. We haven't talked about it. We probably will keep some of the new songs we brought in for Halloween, so we'll see how that goes. But that's going to be Saturday night. It's going to be super, super fun. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty cool place. Have not been there yet. Uh, we haven't played Buda much, so that's going to be really exciting. So yeah, uh, today, Blind Pig, me. It's Wednesday, Four Seasons, me. Thursday, Halloween, KTO, Blind Pig, Rock and Roll. Friday, Adele's, me. Saturday, KTO, Willie's Joint, and Buda. Uh, super excited about this week. Going to be so, so much fun. Um, can't wait to see you. Can't wait to do all this fun stuff. I love my life. I love my job. I love my band. I love my friends. I love everything. I'm a very loving person. Currently, I'm going to get going before I try and love my computer any further and it breaks. Uh, so I'll see you guys this week. Cheers.